Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be trying some new hair color, and it's called holographic hair, because how it resembles what a hologram or holographic paper um, looks like uh, when, you know, you move it around. I think it's also called like a prism hair, um, but I think that's a little bit more lighter colors in regards to that, like how a prism, like when you look through a crystal. So, I don't know, it'll be kind of like maybe a mix between the two, but I know I have a lot of colors, so I'm gonna go over them with you, and hopefully we'll see how this turns out. Okay, so this works um, by way of like, uh, what's called like hair displacement or displacement <laughs> of the hair. So it'll be a little different than just the rainbow hair where when you're putting in the colors, you're gonna be striping them in, but the way that you pull the hair, um, and then the way it naturally will sit is kind of opposite. So anyways, let's get to the colors and it's going to be quite a few. So, so I was going to do, or planning on doing like a base root color of kind of like a charcoal. So not black, black, hopefully it'll be like a little more um, charcoal. <laughs> and um, then another base color of a silver. And then where I went kind of like the hologram parts to be, or prism, whichever you want to call it, uh, it's going to be a little spectrum of colors. Um, actually, you had to write it down even so I remembered. It's teal, blue, purple, pink, orange, yellow, and green. So I did mix them a little differently, and I used a handful, actually, of different uh, brands. So I know I had a lot of the, what was it, the eye? Iru, Iru, or Iru, Iru, whatever it is, the I R O I R O, and then Chromacast um, Pravana ones, and there was another one, Arctic Fox, and I can never say that one either. It's a Joe, Jaiko, Joe, <laughs> it's J O I C O. So I'm gonna show you how, about how much I put in of each ones that I did like mixing with, and tell you which one I put in each and then get them mixed up and start applying them. This one's going to be the charcoal and it's the Aero Aero Black. And I put a little bit of the silver, the chrome, um, the Pravana silver. So about, I ended up using a whole two total. Um, where did I? So what's in here, it's got about like the 15 mark or the 15 ml or um, half an ounce mark on it in here. And then about just a little bit more than that of the black together. I might need to mix it more, I'm not quite sure. And then the silver was just the same Pravana, Pravana ones. Sorry, I was having to reuse them. <laughs> plastics that I had because um, I didn't have enough bowls. But okay, so for the silver or the gray, it's just straight um, this one, the chroma silk. Pravana? Pravana, did I say that right? Yeah, Pravana. <laughs> All right, and then this is a teal. It's also a Pravana, uh, chroma silk. Vivids, they're all vivids. And then for the blue, I actually put mostly the um, Pramana Chroma Silk blue, but I did put just a tiny bit of the, I don't know if you guys see it's shiny, um, the Iro Iro Seafoam in it as well, just to lighten it up a little bit because it, it kind of looks very similar to the purple, which I was going to lighten up a little bit too. So they stand out. Okay. Okay. And so the purple was actually both the same brands, the Iru, um, Iru Iru, whatever it is, um, in the, the regular purple and the lavender. I'm probably gonna put a little bit more regular purple in there um, too, because I wanted it lightened up a little bit, but not too much, so. And for the pink, I used um, the Iru Iru again, two of them. Um, part just the regular pink and then part, which one is this, uh, bubblegum pink, <laughs> 
just to lighten it up a little bit because it's pretty neon, like uh, really bright and stands out. So if I need to, I might add a little bit more of the regular pink. I'll let you know if I do. The green is the Arctic Fox Iris green, and it's just plain. It's not mixed with anything. And then for the yellow, I never can say this one right. Joy, Joyco, remember? <laughs> Anyways, if you guys can see that, I'll put links in the descriptions, or the description to everything. So it's mostly all this right here. And then just a dab of the Iro Iro orange. Um, it's like a neon orange. So just to give it a little bit of like a, hopefully to stay better. I don't know how well this one stays, but I was thinking yellow probably wears out the quickest. Okay, no, that's it. Let's get to applying everything. Okay, so I have all my colors out and ready and I've already actually from the start of the video you can tell I already sectioned my hair so but let's just go over what I did before I take this top one down because that's the first area or one that we're gonna work on so um I sectioned or um sectioned it by the part usually happens kind of in the middle for the most part but I do go side to side so I made it a little bit um wider uh part here or section and then I wanted to go back relatively far so you can see how I sectioned off the rest of the hair and this little one back here is if I want to go a little bit farther but I'm not quite sure yet so that's why I did that separate so let me just okay okay and for the way, um, for placing the colors, I, I might've already told you, but um, it's gonna be, it's gonna look like it's just straight lines at first, but then the way that when the hair falls naturally, it'll um, be displaced. So it'll give like that effect that, um, like I said, the holographic paper um, gives when you move it. So um, yeah, let's get started. And you're gonna want um, something like this. Like this is a <laughs> a balage uh, board, but you're gonna be pulling all of this section forward when you're coloring it. So this will help. Um, to the very first little bit that I'm gonna do is not gonna have all the colors. It's just maybe gonna be like the um, the black roots and the gray for just around the face. Um, and then I'm gonna, you know, boil that up and then start another one on top of it. But this will help keep the uh, lines and everything, get everything soaked in, so. So you're gonna want a comb with a pointy end because you're gonna need to take little sections at a time. And I can tell this is not going to be overly easy doing it on oneself, but love a challenge. So one thing you're going to want to try to be careful of is, I know this is the roots, I'm doing all of the roots black anyways, but um, trying not to have too much sh like smear like that. <laughs> and this is the silver cabana. Okay. And then this one I'm going to actually wrap up so that the colors don't get on it. Okay, step one. <laughs> now a lot more to go. Okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> So as you can see, I kind of switched up to a little thing that I made instead of the board because it stays up a little easier. Um, and I put the new foil over the first one and started the colors, as you can see here. And so after your first uh, hair layer of color, 
what you're going to do is you're going to put another layer right over it and kind of mesh it down and then just follow the colors right over one another and keep repeating it when you get to the end. Like I put the gray on the end, so I think I kind of want to leave it from the teal here to the teal again. Kind of give it a kind of like a halo effect, hopefully. And I'm just going to want to press it down. And I think it's going to be easier, at least, to start from the bottom for me. Because I noticed the hair kept um, getting like stringy and it wasn't really super distinct lines. They were okay, but I think this will help hold it down a little bit. And so you want to make sure you put like a little extra on each stripe so that when you pick the new hair down, it kind of gets the bottom of it too. I ran out of brushes, so I'm using a sponge that I halved over. Actually works pretty good. Put like a foil over what I had finished, which is a couple layers, and I'm starting another one because I felt like it was just getting too thick. I know you're kind of just supposed to keep going like that, but we're gonna see how it turns out with this. So this time, because the very last um, layer under the foil that I did, I put the gray before the um, the black, and that's what we're gonna do this time. this and I might stop here but die on my nose it's awesome um and just continue with the gray and black okay. so as you can see I foiled up everything I was working on before under here and did decide to do one last um, strip but not the one that I had saved extra I might do those color um, but pulling them like this way, maybe just the tips, we'll see. But I'm going to start on the black and the gray base with everything else. I'm just going to put this over just so you can, and then so you can see. And it's not necessary to put something over the top. I'm just doing it so I don't get it on stuff because I already had it all over my face. So I had to wash it, wash it off. Okay, so as you can see, I've started doing the rest of my hair. I think I did do one more <laughs> um, colored one over the top and I got the back pretty much done. Um, so as you can see, I'm just going around like the the sections that I had them in 
um, with the black except for the very front right here for now. Um, and then the way I did the back is just with the silver or the gray, um, putting it over and then if there's any areas it looks like it might not be covering fully, um, just kind of running the black over with it and through it so it'll give it kind of a, I don't know, dimensional smoky look or whatever um, too, but just to make sure that it covers everything as well. Oh, and I'm just going down the sides with the um, silver for now and I can always add more black if I want. You are a statement expert like a bomb I get to push myself to victory You make me win Now that I have all the, the rest of the hair done Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit for another 15 or 20 minutes and then go rinse it out and we'll see how it looks Cross your fingers <laughs> You got me loose and set me free You make me win in every way You showed me how to spread my wings Yes, I'm the winner of the day You got me loose and set me free You make me win in every way You showed So yeah, it turned out a little bit darker than I was initially uh, envisioning or planning, but actually it's okay. I in no way dislike it actually, um, and I did get the effect that I wanted, that holographic um, prism effect that I was talking about um, here. Hopefully my hair wasn't all discombobulated in the back and you're able to see um, some of that, the displacement. So having pulled all of the hair forward and then doing the stripes over the other and then when it lays back down it displaces and you get the more um, prism-y kind of look or effect to the hair. So yeah, I'm definitely, like I said, not unhappy. <laughs> So it just turned out a little darker, it'll fade a little bit, and we'll see how it looks then. And I might need to redo it, I don't know. Um, okay, so I've only just straightened my hair right now, so it was easier to kind of see um, the technique or the results of it. So I'm also going to go curl my hair, so you can kind of see how it looks with that. And I'll be right back. Well, here's the hair all curled and everything. So you can see how different it looks from being straight. But still has that neat prism effect, just in a different way. Okay, well, I think next time I might try, if I do this again, like with the blonde and a little more pastel um, prism color around uh, the hair, the halo part. <laughs> Anyways, I mean, they're pretty. So, yeah, if you've tried this technique or one similar to the halo or prism, or uh, holographic, sorry, holographic or prism uh, effect, let me know in the comments. Also, like what colors you used and how they turned out. So, and also, if you have any questions, again, leave them in the comments, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet and would like to, then be sure to hit that subscription button below along with the notification bell next to it so you'll be the first to know when I post new videos. Alright, well, that's it for this hair tutorial, and I will see you next video. Alright, bye. And when I move, there ain't no stopping me. You're pushing me up to the top